Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to create a glowing line for your project so that you can make beautiful animations like this. You can also use this technique to create such stunning logo animations. I've created this line using the Saber plugin. And if you'd like to learn how to make an animation like this entirely using AI, let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in motion graphics and after things and want to become a professional, don't miss out the Motion Hero course. I've put the link at the top corner of the video. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. First, I create a solid layer. Then I draw the animation path using the pen tool. I pick up the pen tool and draw the path. After creating the path, I apply the Saber plugin to the layer. I rename the layer. and change the effect's color. To make the Saber effect appear as particles, I first set the core type option to layer mask. Next, I disable the enable glow. Then in the core distortion, I set the distortion amount to 75. I move the indicator to the second one to make the changes more visible. I set noise scale to 1 and noise speed to 0.01. Additionally, I set noise bias to 3 and wind speed to 0.01. And then I set the distortion time to energy. Okay, let's take a look at it. I adjust the core size to 0.5 to make the particles smaller. Then I go to the render settings section and set the composite settings to transparent so the background becomes visible. I move the indicator back to the beginning of the timeline to start animating the effect. I create keyframes for both start and end offset properties and set them to zero at the beginning. At second two, I set them to 100. I press U to display the keyframes. Then I make the keyframes easy ease. Next, I move the sort of set keyframes to the second one. I set the sort size to zero to make the end particles smaller and fade out. Okay, let's see how it looks. I disabled this option for now to see the animation better. Then I apply the color on my thing to change the particle colors. In the modify section, I disable modify alpha. And in the input phase section, I set the phase shame to 255. Now I duplicate the Saber thing and place it below the color on my thing to create a glowing line for the animation. In the render settings, I set composite settings to add. Then I set the distortion amount to 0 and core size to 4. Next, I enable glow in the settings. Then I press U to see the keyframes. Here, I slightly move the start offset keyframes back to make the line shorter. Ok, let's see how it looks. I set the core softness to 6. I also set glow bias to 1. Now I duplicate the first saber effect again and place it below to add some strings, making the animation more visually appealing. In the render settings, I set composite settings to add noise scale to 265 and distortion amount to 35. 
I set the distortion time to smoke and adjust the wind speed to around 2.5. Then I set noise speed to 0 and noise bias to 1.5. And I set motion belayer to 4 and the core size to 1.5. Then I hit U to see in the keyframes. I move the start offset keyframes back to shorten the third saber line. Next, I set the wind direction offset to 6. Let's take another look at the results. As you can see, there is an issue where the scene turns black before the effect appears. To fix this, I trim the effect layer until it appears. And to synchronize the saber effect with the lantern lighting up, I move the saber layer slightly back. I think it's looking good now. Let me pull back the start offset keyframes of the first saber event to shorten the particle trail. To make the saber animation more realistic and smoother, I slow it down a bit at this point. I create the keyframe for all properties here. Open keyframe velocity, set influence to 100 and set the other to 70 and set the speed to 5. And I repeat this for the next keyframes. Let's take a look at the results. I also make the last keyframes linear to speed up the animation at the end. Then I extend the layer to adjust its starting point. I also want the animation speed to decrease when the starting point of the line reaches here. So I add keyframes for all properties again. Go into keyframe velocity, set the speed to 15 and influence to 75. I repeat this for the following keyframes. Let's have a look at the result. As you can see, the particle trail has become too long here, so I need to reduce it. To fix this, I think I have to adjust these keyframes. Mm, no, this doesn't solve the issue. I think I have to change the start and end values. I reduce the start offset of the third saber effect and do the same for the first saber effect. As you can see, the saber effect isn't aligned with the lantern lighting up, so I move it forward a bit again. To ensure the saber animation ends earlier, I pull back the sword offset keyframes of the first and third saber effects slightly. Let's take a look at the final results. It looks fantastic. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.